Hey guys, here today we're going to do a product review on the Pisa shoe cabinet with three compartments. The color is black brown, the cost is $70, and we bought this at Ikea. Now, fun fact, this does come in white if you do not like this color. Technically, you can actually paint it if you want to, believe it or not, right? So I guess it doesn't matter as much. There's also a two-compartment version of this as well. So in this video, we're going to provide assembly advice, as always, and overall feedback of the product. So now usually I do have one or more steps in the assembly process that I like to go over in more detail, like in my other product reviews. However, for this one, this was pretty straightforward. I mean, it's Ikea, right? So really I just have more of a general warning to what to watch out for when assembling this cabinet. Uh, after that, I do want to tell you how I use the cabinet at my home here and give you a better idea how you can use it at yours. So the only specific advice I have is towards the end of the assembly, when you're putting in the shoe compartments that hold the shoes inside the cabinet, they're white here in the video if you can see it. Uh, it can be a little tricky the first time around when reading the instructions, so just pay extra attention. It's just one of those things where the picture is clear, the directions are clear, but for some reason I had to double back a couple of times because I just maybe wasn't looking closely enough to the picture or maybe something else. So just be careful and uh, you should be fine. Alright guys, so I hope you like this video so far. This is, video is almost over. We're just going to the review part of the cabinet and also a couple things of what I like to do in the house with this cabinet to give you more ideas. All right, so what I do love about this cabinet is that it looks like just another piece of furniture in the house. It's not one of those regular shoe storage racks that looks like a shoe storage rack. I guarantee you, it would take you a little bit of time to realize that there's actually shoes that are being held in this piece of furniture. So I like how it kind of blends in and it's not obvious that it's a shoe rack. In addition, uh, it's great that this stores vertically and not horizontally, which is nice for a change. It takes up less space in our mudroom than another shoe rack would. Now, this also holds all different types of shoes, of course. Taller shoes need to be put on the bottom rack so the door closes, FYI. I do not know the max size of what shoe can be put into this cabinet. So that's something you're just gonna have to, I guess, figure out on your own or just hope that it does. It, it looks, they're pretty big cabinets. So unless you have like a size 15 shoe maybe that might work, but I don't have a size 15. I'm a size 30, so that's the best I can do for you. So really the only bad thing I don't like about this cabinet is just the color options. I didn't like the white option, and I don't really like the black brown option. So kind of like what I said in the beginning of the video, you can just paint it, and that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go with just a, I want a black cabinet basically, and I'm just gonna get some wood paint and paint this black. You know, that's something for me to worry about anyway in the future. So there's a little bit of extra things I want to say about this cabinet. One, I would not recommend putting away dirty shoes in this cabinet. For example, like wet shoes, wet shoes that have mud on it because that will just get the cabinet dirty, obviously. But on top of that, the, the mud or muddy water will leak down because it's stored up vertically, right? So it will leak down into the other cabinets, which will make it worse. So I've never actually dealt with this before. I just noticed that that's what's going to happen eventually. So I'm trying to avoid it. If I if the kids are out with their wet shoes, I let it dry outside in the garage. And then when they're dry, I put them into the shoe cabinet. And the next two things I want to say is basically just an idea, give you an idea of how I use this cabinet. Okay. Yes, I put shoes in it. <laughs> okay. Yes, that makes sense. Right. But what I do for these cabinets is I kind of divide them up into uh, sections and I also use this sh I also use this shoe rack for everyday shoes only right so if it's you know everyone has shoes they wear when they're going out to the store or running an errand or what have you and then there's people that have shoes for specific circumstances right like if it's you know if it's snowing or if you're going to the beach, or if you're going, you know, it's summertime, you know, depending on the season, basically, is what I'm trying to say. So this cabinet is really just everyday shoes. You know, if I have space in here, I do put, depending on the season, because I live in an area where there's four seasons, I put some shoes in there. So like, for example, it's winter right now. I have the kids' boots in this cabinet. But when it's summer or spring, one of the, you know, when it's not winter anymore, I'm going to take those boots out and put in other kind of shoes for that type of weather. 
So we divide this cabin up into sections because it's three compartments. We put my shoes at the top, mommy's shoes in the middle, and on the bottom are the two boys. And that's exactly how we do it, and it's a great system. So it's a good suggestion for you if you're thinking about getting this cabinet, and it works great for us. All right, so the final grade of this cabinet is awesome. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please give this video a thumbs up and a subscribe. It's free. Finally, leave a comment below with feedback or questions, and I'll be more than happy to reply back. So thank you for watching the video. And here on the left is my family going to Six Flags Safari. And the video on the right is another product review on a cabinet we got from Aldi. Take care.